And then get so this. <laughs> and then <laughs> get this. <laughs> <laughs> These two motherfuckers fighting in the fucking, at the store. Yeah, man. Yeah. And what happened after? My dad scored a hat trick. <laughs> I'm gonna sell a verga. Uh, yeah. Christmas jingle bells, bar. jingle bells. Uh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, uh. Bells. Jingle jangle, motherfucker. Jingle bells, jingle, jingle bells, bells, uh. <laughs> Your pussy smells, pussy smells, uh. Is that Clean you, that Santa shit. Claus? Damn. Clean that shit with some eye jocks. Uh, uh. Damn. Say, clean that shit with some eye jocks. That wax, wax your butthole, bitch. Wax shit. your butthole, bitch. Uh. Wax your butthole, bitch. Shit we in a box. Money then out. give it to my homie. Mm. Damn. That's a bunch of shit. Ooh. It's December vibes. That's a bunch of shit. Uh. It's December vibes in the building. You monetized again. It's December like, vibes in the building. Thanks, uh, low era for the beat. Dang, you're yeah. the best. We appreciate you. And it was Lalo's birthday two days ago. Yes, uh, it was. Happy birthday, sh- happy birthday, Lalo. Thanks. Oh. But and we shot w- this two weeks ago. Damn. Shot happy this birthday, two weeks Lalo. Ago. Call I Lalo the Grinch because he's still in your bitch. Damn. Uh, shit. November 26th is when we recorded this. Damn. So we're frauds. So yeah. we're frauds. We gotta double up on Epi because Johnny is going where? Besame mucho. Chingo man, you could you could besame mucho. Mm. Oh. It's Lalo's birthday. Uh huh. It's her fifth. Rev that sleigh. Uh huh. I don't know what to say. Damn. Damn. Oh. Cray, cray. Oh. Oh. Do something All from Lalo. All is best. <laughs> hey, shout out Santa. Uh. uh. She a red nose. Ooh. That just means that like she lead in the like pack. Like hey. Hey. And she slay. Ooh, slay. And I might just pay. Damn. Oh. She eating too much hay. Hey. And turns out she's a horse. Damn. Uh. <laughs> hey. Put your toes in my mouth. Mm. Said, put your toes in my mouth. Put them in your mouth. And you know we do this for the clout. And the clout. Mm. And you know it. we do this for the clout. That's Whole all we're doing it for. Whole lot of gunk in your fucking belly button, bitch. Damn. Damn. Clean it out. Clean it out. Clean it out. Clean it out. There's a lot of lint. And a lot of cheese. And a lot of smell. And a lot. Clean it out. Happy birthday, Lalo. Happy birthday. Lalo Buns. It's your birthday, Lalo Buns. Yeah. Merry yeah. Christmas, Lalo Buns. Yeah. Merry Christmas, Lalo Buns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you get the Low bitches, Lalo the... Buns. Hey. And we live, motherfuckers. Ooh, ooh. It's your boy, Lalo. It's your boy, and if I and I D R E from the N to the motherfucking C M E R R Y from the C H R to the I S T M A S. Merry <laughs> Christmas, motherfuckers, and oh, happy s- birthday to motherfucking Santa Claus and Jesus. <laughs> and Lalo. <laughs> it's Johnny, what's up? Happy Is birthday, you- Lalo. Thanks. It's your top G, <laughs> <laughs> top it's your, G. your favorite tater top. <laughs> <laughs> you, could, you could never. Yeah. yeah actually, Shit, we know. back, boys. Damn, I <laughs> Damn, obviously you had so long. Damn, bro. How's your hey, birthday? Uh, it, was <laughs> <laughs> it was fucking great. Fuck off. <laughs> what, what are your plans for your birthday, by the way? Uh, just to drink and make a uh, do the Barca Lego set. <laughs> do, the, do the Barca Lego set that's going to sit right here. <laughs> I literally yeah, bought, another, I bought another table that I'm going to build and put yeah. in this corner. Yeah. And the Barca Stadium is going to sit in this corner. So Lalo, Lalo bought himself a gift. Yeah. yeah, like yeah. When you open it, you're going to be like, oh my God. No, it's already here. I already saw it. Uh, oh, yeah. But I'm waiting for my birthday to build it. Yeah, it's going to take a while, yeah. though. That's dope. Bro. So we'll see. So it's not your birthday yet. No, December yeah. 5th. Yeah, yeah. December 5th. Yeah. If you guys want to send him anything, your panties. What or are, like, it's already come I, out. I, I come for a Scotch hat. Or a Lego out, set. Well, this came out December 7th. This episode's going to come out December 7th. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Hey, that Mexico game was crazy, yeah, huh? Dude. Hey, I'm worried dude. they could be one, baby. We, I didn't think we'd yeah. win 12-0. Dude, we, we <laughs> fucking <laughs> did it, bro. Dude, yeah. Lozano with six goals. Uh, Lozano, shoot, a was, double hat trick fool, and was, everybody just started saying, it's chanting, fuck Messi, fuck <laughs> Messi. Yeah. Honestly, <laughs> Tata Martino, six more years. Six more years, Yeah, yeah. That win was crazy. When Stone Cold Steve Austin came back, fool, I was tripping, bro. He caught on the the field and yeah. he just started drinking pistols. And you yeah. know what I thought was crazy when Messi broke his leg. I thought it was crazy. Dude, that was, that was and uh, who would have thought they lost to Poland? Yeah. Dude. Yeah. So Mexico finished first. So we're technically and Poland in finished second. That's crazy. So right now we're in World War Three. If you're watching this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's been that full, that much. <laughs> all that basically. shit's happened since then. How funny we got all this shit, right? Messi broke <laughs> his leg and then Kim Jong un got mad at that, so he bombed like <laughs> crazy some other crazy. shit. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy how we went. But we're in World War Three now. So if you guys are listening from your bunkers 
We really appreciate that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. And you already said that our request is coming back next week. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's yeah. not. Yeah. Fuck, no, fuck uh, that. Yeah. So what's and, up? And Drew Farnsworth, or whatever her fucking name is. <laughs> Drew. She's coming back. She's coming back on the pod. We're going to have one of those debates. <laughs> yeah, bro. With Drew at the Tatanka Bombo. Um, All right. What a great start. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So then let's talk about this car accident. Because you've okay. fucking been telling us. Okay. Yeah. And we were trying and you were trying to lead it in, but we didn't do it successfully. So So <laughs> I I had well, I was in an accident a good amount of years ago. And um this is before I had a car and shit, right? Yeah. So I used to fucking like have homies just drive me around and we fucking go and I just kick it where the fuck they wanted to go to. Yeah. So we were going to this party and shit. We we're I going to this uh that. huh? I can't my brain doesn't let me accept that. What? Mm-hmm. Get in a car and see what happens throughout the night. Oh, oh no, no, no. Not. Like, uh, w- what I'm saying is, like, they made the plans and they hit me up and I'd be like, oh, I'm down for that. But, like, Even the, still, like there was something still. plans, but still. So, yeah. it was right. just homies I kick with and it was them driving. So, they're yeah. like, oh, you know, we're going to a sweet 16. And I was like, oh, yeah, like, I knew the person too. I was like, yeah, like, I was thinking of going to that. Like, I'm down. Just they'll pick me up. Mm-hmm. So, the dude that would usually, like, I kick it with that would, uh, that would drive. He was like, oh, my friend's going to drive today. Like, in his car. He'll pick you up. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. So, I, I didn't know this dude. My first time meeting him. Tell me why we're fucking driving. He picks me up. He gets on the freeway. Decides on the freeway is the perfect time. <laughs> fucking smoking <laughs> butt, bro. I, out of this, like, it was like a drink from, like, an amusement park. And he was just mm-hmm. fucking poked a hole in it. And it was ready, bro. It the was Six burned Flags it. Cup? Yeah, shit. yeah. Like, it was burned as fuck. He made it into, like, a fucking... A bong, bro. A bong? Smart and, ass food. And it was, like, it I'll was burned as fuck. So, you know, it's been there for a while, bro. He Resourceful, uses this yeah. shit. Yeah. And he was smoking. I was like, what the fuck, bro? Look, bro, he hotboxed the whole fucking car. While you're in there? I'm, I'm in the backseat. And That's he's right. driving. And then my homie's a passenger, right? You're a faded, huh, bro. Honey? It was so fucking foggy. How do you see, bro? Mm-hmm. He's driving. Mm-hmm. He has a bunch of like beer fucking shits in the back. And I brought some from my house and shit. I took some from my dad's and shit. Yeah. Sorry, mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Hey, like, yeah. sorry to my dad. Should know this. And I fucking <laughs> took it. So I had some like uh, Coronas and Modelos. And he has a bunch of fucking like canisters of like weed that he would fucking oh, get. The green ones the, and the shit. The green ones and shit. I miss those. I see you, n- yeah. you not here like over like 20 of those in the backseat. Popping the them floor. bitches and just... And this yeah, one was just throwing. asking to get a DUI. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he was doing that shit and he was smoking and this fool fucking ran a stop sign. He didn't see it and I was like, how the fuck did you not see that? Of course he didn't. He fucking crashes and... You, wait, were, in, you wait, were in there? I was in there and he, he crashes. Is that when everybody thought you died? Wait, what do you, wait, no, no. What do you mean? Okay. Because he was smoking, just so it's already foggy in the car. Yeah. But he had already done been done smoking, right? Mm. And we're literally like one minute away from the fucking party. Yeah. Damn. And he he hits a car from behind. Mm. So he fucking crashes and we're like, fuck, what the fuck's gonna happen? Whatever. That shit smells like bud. It in smells the whip. like bud. And at the time, bud wasn't legal at mm. all. Yeah. So well, you're still not legal to smoke in your whip. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, you're not. But um, that's just full of that shit. And our beer bottles that we brought to the party mm-hmm. all fucking opened. So they're all spewing on the fucking car. Oh, so so it's going to smell like alcohol. Smells like we were probably drinking. So he's like, bro, what the fuck am I going to do? What the fuck? What the fuck? Mm -hmm. This dude gets sober real quick. He's like, bro, like, I need you to get all this shit and fucking take it. I'm like, you want me to take all the evidence? I was like, what the (laughs) fuck? They don't know I was like, all right. And I was like, all right, well, the party's here. I'll see you at the party, bro. I fucking dipped on that food because I was like, oh, you told me to. Because he wanted me to get rid of that shit. Yeah. Wait, did you take all of it? Yeah, I took all of it because oh, it was all okay, spilled. Okay. All the and like, so, and shit? Like, like they're spewing. They have the cap on them, but they're like spewing. Uh-huh. So okay. And some opened. So I get them on. All the fucking canisters in my shirt and I just fucking run. Like I r- run away and <laughs> ma- I make sure that the person... Because he's talking see? to the lady. Yeah. And they didn't see. So I just run and I covered it. I think I had a sweater or something. I run and fucking get rid- I drop it all. It's like far away. And I just go to the party and I just sat down. I was like, hey, hey, happy birthday. And I just got some, <laughs> some beer. <laughs> and I'm like, hey. fuck, what the fuck's going to happen? <laughs> And like at the time, like I didn't have my like my phone connection or anything, so like I can't hit this fool up. I, you didn't I, get hurt or anything I, in an accident. I felt a little hurt, and Ali was like, "Yeah, I just got in an accident. I just pulled up." And I was like, "Cause you're young, you feel invincible, bro." This fool's bleeding and, I, and shit. I, I, I'm missing <laughs> eyes. His eyebrows coming out. It's like that sometimes. His glasses are cracked and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. And I um I felt like some chest pains and shit like later that day. That's why I hear like they say you don't feel the pain right away, you feel it later. And I did, mm-hmm. but I was like, "What the fuck?" Like I had to get rid of all these fucking canisters. And from what I remember, he got away with it. Like, he, he, like, I think he had to pay for some shit, but, like, they didn't mm-hmm. catch it with any How of the... Though, bu- I don't fucking he smoked, know. Like, he smoked Bro, like weed, for sure. But this dude smoked every fucking day. Because after that moment, we would hang out sometimes, but he wouldn't fucking drive. But mm-hmm. he would smoke a lot. So he was a main, like, a big smoker, so... I was like, mm-hmm. this was yeah. mainly fucking high every day. I was like, how did they fucking out drug test him? I don't fucking know. 
But oh, uh, nice. to me, that was an accident that was like, that was my first ever accident in my life. And to me, I was like, bro, this is my first fucking car accident. It's not even in my car. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. And I was scared because I'm like, dude, in, as, as a young dude, you hear yourself. You're like, like, you just think the worst thing is like, fuck, there's weed in here. I'm going to get arrested. And yeah. you hear about those stories of people getting arrested because of their friends. I'm like, fuck, mm. if it was bud and alcohol. I, I was like 16, 17 at the time. I was like, I don't, I can't be drinking or fucking smoking. Like, I'm fucked. And I was mm. fucking scared. I, I don't think bro. you had a, like, they had to worry about anything because they would have got more in trouble if they had a minor in the car. Or the, yeah. so I'm guessing they were older, right? Yeah, yeah. This dude, yeah, this dude was like over 23, 18? bro. Yeah, yeah like, like 23. So, like, they would have been way more trouble if you were there. So, I don't think yeah. they would have tripped on you The fact that you split leaving. was probably the smartest decision and shit. Exactly. Oh. So, it, it probably helped them a lot, I'm sure. Because I, I look younger, so this dude had a beard and everything. And That was that he just got away with, though? Nothing. Had yeah, yeah. Like, he, he, I think he had to, like, pay for the girl's shit. But, like, he didn't get, like, breathalyzed or anything. Like, I don't think they ended up calling the cops. But, bro, he could have been in some deep shit if she would have. Oh, I'm sure she yeah. smelled bud. I'm mm-hmm. sure she fucking knew. She was like, just pay my shit, you know? Like, yeah. But that fool was scared. He was like, dude, it was like, like, what am I going to do? That was like your first car accident. Ever, my first right? ever car accident. Okay. So I was scared as fuck. Yeah. I, I didn't know what the fuck that happened. I was like, dude, that shit happened in like a flash. Like yeah, everything, please. you feel like you can react, dude, but I'm just like, he ran a stop sign, but that's so quick. He ran a stop sign, bam. Like, just yeah. crashed. Like, Everything went black, bro, for a second. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. And you feel, I, when I've seen characters on movies, I'm like, I can hold myself back. Like, dude, people are stupid. Yeah. Bro, my head swung, like, to the fucking seat. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that shit was It never coordinated, bro. You probably swung your fucking head forward, too. <laughs> and yeah, you know I what? Think. You've been dumber since then, for we noticed. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, you were so hey, smart. Your, yeah, your, but you were an intelligent, bro. But I, all I can say from this experience is I'm glad you're okay, you know? Yeah, okay. But... I don't know why you're telling us this because you didn't score a hat trick at the end of that fucking. <laughs> that's name. fucking that's Loki facts. You know, that Lala that's at least facts. did. Oh, was like, true, a fucking true. Story. No, but why are you bringing this up? Is there a reason, or you just want to send a message out there to people not to drink and drive? Don't fucking drink and dive, drive. Don't, and drive. Don't, don't, fucking, dive. don't fucking don't fucking jump. Drink, drink and dive. <laughs> dive. <laughs> die. Die. <laughs> to the pool. Yeah. Hey, Loki though. Don't hey, drink and die. That's no. Hey, hey. Uh, actually, that's a fucking thing though. Yeah. Like. There's so dive. many injuries of people drinking, like at parties where the there's holidays like a pool. Especially. No, where there's a pool and they dive into pools and they get like oh, yeah. they they crazy drown. injured yeah. though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They oh, get drowned. Weird. They like get, they they don't know the, the pool, cuts, so yeah. they they hit their fucking like there was this one girl that I found on TikTok. Full force at ten feet. She dived into the pool like some. It's only this much of water. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. She was completely paralyzed like, after oh. the accident and shit. Oh, that's not funny Damn. anymore. That's yeah, hilarious. <laughs> nah, nah. Yeah. It was fucked, but it's like... She probably ate before. But then, like, I read up on it, and it's like, there's a statistic that, like, there's hella people who get fucked up, like, drinking. Yeah. They dive into pools, and they get crazy. Or, like, people who dive into, like, rivers and shit, too. Like, oh, yeah. there's a lot of states that have, like, waterfalls, and people just mm-hmm. doing... They, they dive, bro, and they, like, hit a rock or some shit, yeah, bro, they and die. they die. Yeah. I remember one like of my that. first car accidents. So don't drink and dive. I remember one of my first car accidents with my dad. We were, we were, dad, dad yeah. how many fucking car accidents you been in? Lala? No, I remember one of my. It was I was super young, and we were going to a country we wanted to go to for pe- 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 pequeños musical, pe- pequeños musical. That's that's the, the tag. But if you know, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't but, know. Uh, I'm not familiar. Pe- 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 oh, okay, okay. Uh, what is that for real? What a famous song? Give us pe- a famous pequeños song. musical. Fuck. Sorry, bro. Because I know your mom looked. Uh, was it a cumbia? Quisillos, no, oh, no. She yeah, quisillos, quisillos are like that's our that, that's our our fucking quisillos was yeah. the shit. Our, our go to, but those foods, my dad's gonna take me right, and mm-hmm. I can tell a story and keep going. Mm-hmm. I think. Uh, yeah, this is the, the, the first one. Yeah, la, la, so, nena. That, so that was your first. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I now, love these songs. Oh, it's a bop. Yeah, <laughs> you want to go watch these fuckers? Hey, send me that. I'm, I'm there for parties. And hey, it was on your way to go see that shit? And just having two bitches back it up on you? Yeah. Yeah, at seven years old. Fuck, bro. Damn, that's a bop. Hey, honestly, Lalo, you got me excited I for the concert. Work for sure demonetized. <laughs> Anyways. We said fucking put it in my ass in the beginning. We weren't getting paid. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we were, we were going to go say, yeah. We were go watch Pequeno Musical, right? And uh, he was all hyped about it, and it was just me and him, so I was like, it was like, so hype fuck. he was flying past stop signs. <laughs> no, it, no, it was just that we were going. And it was like we went to I forget what the fuck it was. Like, I, I was so young, and uh, he he's like, you want to go with me? This is not because ain't nobody wanted to go with him. And I was like, yeah, yeah fucking, you know, I'll spend time with you. Fuck it. And we went. <laughs> and, but look, I didn't want to go because like I didn't know really much about him. Nowadays, yeah. like if you tell me now, I'll be like, beep, 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 beep. you know, I pull, yeah. I pull up. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'll probably go. But back then, I was just like, I'll go just because. When well, no one wants to go with you, you know, yeah. and, I, and uh, we we go driving, and then this fucking freeways 
tell like tell to tell, bro. Just bumper yeah, the whole bumper. bumper to bumper. Yeah, yeah. there you go. That's, that's what it is. Yeah, bumper yeah. to bumper, all the way, bro. All the way, all the way. A la fart. Yeah. A la fart. A toda madre, güey. A toda pedo. To the mom, to the mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, we're we're on the freeway, and then yeah. there's like a little gap, you know, like when when you have to like, you know, finally speed up a little bit, and then, mm. and, then and then you're gonna go back to bumper to bumper. Yeah. So we go, and then it, it wasn't too crazy, but like we go and we stop in front of this guy, and then just. Boom! Right, right, right behind us. Fuck! Oh, somebody I, hits you guys. Somebody hits us, yeah. So stop playing my fucking dad because it wasn't his fault, idiot. Just your fucking dad's fault. He has glasses. Anybody has glasses? That's, facts. That's facts. It's their fault. That's facts. That's facts. We can't see. It yeah. was your fault. Yeah. Imagine. Give me the back seat. It's still his fault. Yeah, I, I was. But the thing is, that we were in a little troquita, so it was just like the three seater. Yeah. In oh, the okay. front, and then like they hit us, and he just boom, and I was just like, it was kind of ah. shocking because that never happened before, right? Yeah. And, and I was like, you good, right? Like, because it wasn't too crazy, but it was enough for it, like, boom, like it moves you forward, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, because they, they just didn't break. They, that's all it was. It just didn't break. And um, yeah, my dad went out there and checked, and he's all like, fuck, they dropped the bumper because it was like the metal bumper, like the yeah, little uh, you know? They don't make trucks like that no and more. And he's bro. all like, fuck, they, he's like, they dropped the bumper, and I was like, you know, I didn't really want to go. So I was like, damn, I guess you gotta go home. <laughs> and then he had a troquita. My, ma- my man just fucking. He fucking picked oh, the shit, shit up, threw the shit in the yeah. bed, and now we're fucking. That's what I was thinking. Like we're fucking going. Are you stupid? I'll fix it when we get <laughs> back to the house. Wait, that food, but the, the other food just balanced or what? Or nah, like, well, I think they just exchanged information. Uh, like the, the truck wasn't worth <laughs> shit. For they, were, they were like, "You don't got insurance, huh?" Nah, me, me neither. neither. <laughs> Have a good day. Yeah, you, you're going to see You fix your way, I fix mine. <laughs> Deal. You go to the vent. All right, see you. Yeah, but you bought me a beer. Yeah, the Yeah, yeah. Anyways, yeah, she. Peppa Pig. We just we just left. And uh, yeah, fuck it. That that was that was it. You know, we went to go watch this event, and like that. Also, at that event was the first time I seen like grown ass men fight next to me because they were drinking. Yeah. So I was little, and I was just watching him. Like, you were exposed we, to the we, world that we, day. We, 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 I was like first. I, we, <laughs> the world said, "Get we, fucked." We, we, we were first stage. Uh, not Wolf Logic couldn't. Never. Yeah, uh, yeah. So we're, we're, <laughs> That's where I lost to Hassani. Shout out Showtime. So we're shout out Showtime first stage. So we're watching. So we're so, so we're watching these two. And I'm super young. My dad has me like in the front, right? Yeah. I'm literally first row on the stage. Cause it was the event wasn't huge, um, but it was popping though, bro. Like yeah. And then I just remember like my dad picking me up and throwing me like almost under the stage. Oh shit. Like uh, he picked me over the run, threw me under the stage. For real? Yeah, he picked me up and th- put me under the stage and he's like, stay right there. Cause these fools are throwing like <laughs> bottles at each other. Fuck. They're bottles oh, and like fucking getting down with each other. And I was just like like scared the whole time, and then like, uh, you pussy. And then, yeah, for sure. <laughs> and, and then my, and then my dad, and then the security was just like, the security was like, no, you can stay here, it's fine. Yeah, you know, because I was the youngest one. And then the my, stage and falls and shit. Yeah, <laughs> the worst case scenario. Yeah. <laughs> it puts me in the worst case. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, that's pretty much how I remember. Like they ended up picking me up, obviously, when they broke yeah. the guys up. And then I was just like, "You just gonna leave me? Don't ever <laughs> fucking invite me to that shit again." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah. And then I went home. Like, Next day, then I went home and scored a hat trick, bro. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Yeah. it always ends like it always that. Ends like that. That's just time. Yeah. That was nuts. Bro. Some... <laughs> that's just <laughs> hey, but Loki. That's what's scary about a uh, accident is that it's not your fault sometimes. No, you were blaming my like, dad though. No, but it was his fault. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. about I'm else. saying like, if you were driving down the street, you could be doing everything right, yeah. and it's yeah. like everything's fault? fine. And then somebody else comes and fucked you up because yeah. they were doing weren't doing their job and shit. And it's like that's why I drive like a bitch low key sometimes. <laughs> facts, yeah. facts, like there facts, there are facts, times facts. where I'm speeding, but then there's times where I'm like hold like I get that realization like we're yeah. in two fucking metal trash cans that at yeah. any point could fucking just you know we I'll cease to exist you know. No, for sure. And yeah. then like that should just like I I trip out about that and I'll just start driving a little bit safer and shit. Yeah. And, like I remember this one time actually it was similar to your story, oh, but shit. we were at a, both of your stories actually. Cause we stopped at a. a you were the car behind me. No, no. Your mom was smoking. Yeah, yeah, my mom was smoking. <laughs> <laughs> she was high as fuck. She was like, "This, she was like, this hit this shit." <laughs> my mom was doing heroin in the front, right? And so, hey, and so we're hey, like, wait, on, the, and two guys are getting down on the crosswalk. Yeah. <laughs> And my, mom, bottles? and my mom threw me under the car, right? To make sure I was Some safe. Some fucking dumbass dad. Yeah. <laughs> was in the throwing... car. Bah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyway, we, we stopped. It was on San Bernardino Avenue. And you know how it's just stop signs, right? 
So Murder. there's a stop sign and we fucking stop like how you're supposed to. And the other was like, nah, <laughs> <laughs> behind us. And he fucking goes into our fucking trunk. Full, and I saw it when I waved. I was like, <laughs> hey. like that's how fucking like close he was and shit. Yeah. Like, but he kind of pushed us a little bit, you know, and we had to go to the chiropractor mm, and like. And milk it. And then, yeah. And, yeah. Dead ass. Dead <laughs> ass. Dead ass. My mom told me like. Fool, that shit barely scratched the whip. <laughs> my mom was like, grab your shoulder. Grab your shoulder. But I had to fuck the shoulder back then. So, and so I got my shoulder. That's what happened. Like, Karma got you, bitch. Yeah, and the beaner that was in the truck behind <laughs> that us, was that fool was like worried because that fool was like illegal, fool. And, mm. and he's, Aww. yeah. yeah you're and so I was like, assholes. nah, like, just give us some money so we can go see a chiropractor. Like, we're not going to go through insurance or nothing, but just give us some money so we can go see oh, a okay, chiropractor. Cool. So he was like, all right. So he, and then after that, I went home and I scored a hat trick. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, dude. Hell yeah, I love that story. That nuts. That's nuts, bro. Well, I scored like five goals. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you just keep upping it. <laughs> nah, but I scored like twelve. Yeah, well, probably. I don't know. Yeah, just like what Mexico just did like, against yeah. Saudi Arabia. <laughs> that that was a crazy game. Bro. <laughs> That'll never happen ever we're, again, we're dude. What there. was it? Twelve zero? What'd you 12 say? Zero. It was twelve zero. That's crazy. Bro. Shit, that we haven't nice. even had earthquakes that big. <laughs> Do you remember uh, any of your? You don't remember shit. Bro, I got a lot. I gotta be honest. I'm fucking. I look. You were you born in a car accident? No. Yeah. By the way, I was. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. How do you know that? Bro. He said it, but then he forgot because he fucking yeah, had yeah, a car my, accident. <laughs> my dad fucked up his uh, Volkswagen Jetta. <laughs> he oh fucked yeah, up. you guys did have a Volkswagen Jetta. Yeah. Well, you know, you fucking you didn't ever saw it, bitch. <laughs> that was a joke. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> hey, <laughs> but just, yeah. hey, you kind of got my ass. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of got my ass. But uh, that that Mexican game was kind of nuts. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Happy birthday, though. That <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was born from a car accident, though. Yeah. You were born in what, an accident. I was. So I, like, I, I remember. Were you guys going to the hospital, or was it no, just fucking? Like my, fuck? my, uh, no, they were coming back from the hospital. But that's how he was born. Fucking dumbass. My dad got in a car accident, and shit, and then. Uh, the, she, they she had to go to the doc. They went straight yeah. to the hospital. To the dog pound. My mom was in pain and shit, and they were like, "Oh well, we're gonna have to, this motherfucker gonna die. We are gonna take him out now." Yeah. Oh this, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you yeah. a bitch for real. And then after that, these fools were carless, bro. Damn. There for a minute. So you fucked them over. Irresponsible. Low key. You have a baby in there. Low key. Have a car? <laughs> bro, they were <laughs> mad irresponsible, bro. Nah. Bringing a kid into this world, they were broken. And then get a car accident. What kind of? Yeah. Bro. Yeah. But it was their fault or was the other person's fault? I don't know. Take a walk, guys. Okay, it was I, I think it was probably my dad's fault. <laughs> yeah, he was smoking. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing heroin. My mom was smoking for. <laughs> she was like, "Hit this shit." Hey, <laughs> she ran. And then get so this. <laughs> and then <laughs> get this. <laughs> These two motherfuckers <laughs> fighting in the fucking at the store. Yeah, man. Yeah. And what happened after? My dad scored a hat trick. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was and crazy. Took, and then they threw Janice under the bus somehow. <laughs> somehow she was born before yeah. you in this story. Yeah. Yeah. yeah this universe, yeah. this multi universe yeah. thing is crazy, bro. <laughs> I feel like we all live the yeah. same life. Yeah, the, la- the Lalovers. We're running out of fucking stories here, okay? Into the Lalovers. We've done this for fucking almost four years. La- Lalovers, no way home. Yeah. <laughs> Lalo- Lalovers, you better walk home. <laughs> <laughs> hey, honestly, like hearing that shit makes me hype for the fucking concert. Like, cause it, that just sounds fucking. Cause dope, to get to the <laughs> well, well, this is what I got out of it. Cause, uh, well, cause it, bro, this line of stack. Look, I'll tell you the fucking line. Of oh, right, you're going uh, to the by now. You already went though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, how was it? It was fucking dope. Bro. <laughs> did, you go, did you go get a score hat trick? Dude, <laughs> uh-huh. I got fucked up. Fucking <laughs> daddy. <laughs> 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 <clears throat> Cause there's three. <laughs> He's still gonna be like, nah, I got buzz. <laughs> there's three stages. Nah, I didn't get fucked up, bro. I hate it, dude. I mean, how are you gonna pay for 18 shots though at the concert? Uh, bro, I don't know. I mean, how'd you pay for it? Dude? <laughs> That's just crazy. Look, oh it's three stages. It's Las Clásicas stage, uh, uh, Rockero stage, uh, and then hard. Te gusta el pop? Question mark. So Loki. stage. Question mark. Uh, stage. Yeah. So for the first one, Los Tigres del, del Norte. Tigers of the North. Let's go. Los Angeles Azules. The Blue Angel. Blue Angel. Banda Recodo, Bronco, Ra- Ooh, Broncos, Ramon Ayala, Banda Ayala. Machos, Grupo, Cual, 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 Banda El Mexicano, oh, Boffers. Los Rieleros, Boffers. Sonora Santanera, I know, I've heard, I know, I've heard Los Sosos de Rimo, Andres yeah, Negros, Yené, Boffers, um, Santanera. So, so not a, so at, not this Johnny, at this point, Johnny's just doing a fucking ad for these foods. I am. I am. Yeah. I was, hey, hey, hopefully they All right, let's say this, though. Who, who are you most excited for? Okay, okay, I'll just tell you that. I'm excited to see Grupo Cual. I want to see Grupo Cual. Cual, 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 Cual
I know the stages are going to be the most hype is Sonora Dinamita. Facts. And then Los Angeles Azules. So, and, and Tigre del Norte. Those are <laughs> three that are going to be like hype as fuck. Yeah. And obviously, like Los Cates de Linares are going to be there, Los Yonix, Los Freddy's, <laughs> you know. Oh, Wouldn't that. that shit suck though? Like that they end that shit early because somebody gets stabbed. Yeah, <laughs> one of the artists. Oh, Put yeah, the bottle. Shout out, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Remember we went to yeah. uh, once upon a time, <laughs> and then they go home and they score a hat trick. <laughs> no. Imagine like they get <laughs> no, that's how I'm, I'm done going to festivals like that with a the stacked artist, ass lineup because people just get stabbed. Like, every time I hear that now, like with like super stacked lineups, I think about like this was experience well, what, that one. What, shit. Terrible. But well, then again, like this concert is like. Hosted by like like uh, the same ones that did like Tropicalia, like they've done big events. Los oh, okay, like hey, their experience. Los Angeles Azules, wasn't. Los Angeles Azules, they go stab. <laughs> they get in another. <laughs> for terrenos, tigers, tigers of the north. The north. So mm. my, my girl really wants to see Caifanes. She wants to mm. see Julieta Venegas. Damn. Obviously, there's Zoe, like Molotov, Mago de Oz, Panteon oh, Rococo. Molotov. Like him and us. Don't Ariana. call me gringo, you fucking El tri. beaner. Stay on and the Anito side Verdes. of the goddamn river. Don't Sorry. call me Hombres, hey. gringo, you beaner. No, no me digas vino Mr. Mr. Puñetero Te sacaré un susto por racista Y culero no me llames Frijolero Pinche gringo puñetero Pinche gringo puñetero Es de mi ser Chingao And I so, wish I had a time For every single time <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding Johnny it, no, it, That's not dope though Molotov's a cool. shit by the way That it's was cool, cool. No, 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 But myself. whoever doesn't know that That was Molotov <laughs> it, It's sick bro Like my girl's really excited for that I think that's where we're gonna be Most of the day Cause like my girl's like this is her concert. Like she really wants to go. I'm excited yeah. for it, but like I don't have anybody. That I'm like, oh, this is where I want to go. We're just, I'm gonna just go with the flow. Talking I'm about Los Angeles Azules, you don't mm. want to see that. Yeah, That's but like I'm, I'm going for vibes, bro. It, it's mm. cool. And obviously the third stage was, is the uh, Sin Bandera. How much were those tickets? Do you know? A lot, bro. Yeah, it yeah, was like, like four hundred. It's like an EDC ticket and shit. Oh. Yeah, it was. I think it. Uh, I think it ran you like six something for two tickets. That's not bad. Yeah. Yeah, what? I was still expensive. For one though. day, that's yeah, expensive. Yeah, it's expensive, but... So, it was Team Bandera for the last expensive. one. expensive. Elvis Crespo. Um, Man, suavemente. Oro solido, bro. Oro solido. Cumbia Kings. So, it's... La, la, la oreja de Van Gogh, bro. It's stacked, you know? So, she really wants to see artists like that, too. So, I'm pretty Cumbia excited. Kings. If you don't watch the Cumbia Kings, I'm going to be upset with you, bro. But you're not that, even going to have a chance. Where There's going to be so where many where go. conflictions the with the fucking schedule. That, that's what I'm saying. We don't got no water. <laughs> let the motherfucking... Burn! I feel like it's going to be where pretty go. cool. We're just like, I'm where waiting for the lineup. It still hasn't fucking dropped for, like, the set times. Set times haven't dropped or stages. Like, mm. who's fucking going first and all that? So, I do want to see that. That shit sounds more lit than EDC. I'm not even going to lie. It's going to be <laughs> sick, Are you going to watch Avicii? Huh? Are you going to watch Avicii? A V, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy. No, no, no. <laughs> you gonna be at the Martin Garrix stage? <laughs> like to me, it's gonna be pretty sick. It, I I saw some vendors that they have is like tacos and shit. Like they like a lot of stuff. I'm gonna get fucked up. I know that shit. I, For I sure. off the food or fucking drink. I bro. get I get weary of like. Eating at a fucking festival or like, cause yeah. I'm just like, I just know I'm gonna get the fucking mad. Cacazos. Yeah, bro. Nah, bro. That's what relates to me the hardest, honestly. Cause I, I don't know what it's like I, to I just fucking eat something out, out, and you're just like, my day is over. Yeah, it's over. Hey, that shit, that shit just looks at all your inside of your stomach, like, I'm yeah, like, I gotta head bro, out. Like, as soon as they go in, gotta head out. I'm, yeah. I'm really trying to prepare myself for that shit, cause. I, you guys know I get bad with fucking shits. Facts. Like, I, Facts. and especially lately, I've been really trying to prepare myself because while I was in Mexico and shit, I uh -oh. fucking had to deal with some bullshit. Casa? Damn. Bro, almost. But wait, remember <laughs> last time you were in Mexico, you fucked up your this last time. This last yeah, time, cheats? yeah, I know, yeah, I know. It wasn't like that, but yeah, 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 it was like that. But this well, last time that I was in Mexico, bed, it was clear as day. What happened? Nah, but he was sick. No, no, but I was sick, but it wasn't like that. It was like just water. But the mm. the point is that last time I was in Mexico, bro. It's hot. <laughs> fucking bullshit hey, bro. She's here it, it, it was It was the second time I went to Mexico right yeah, So yes. I had my fucking toe Barely brand new done mm -hmm. Fucking wrapped mm -hmm. Oh my god I should not have had The fucking al pastor bro <laughs> And carnitas So I was like <laughs> Fuck bro Cause I was like Which one do I eat I want both Do you think Do you think it's what you ate Or how much you ate I think it's what I ate And how much I ate <laughs> Cause it was a lot <laughs> Yeah But if you think really about it though too me, Like if, if you would just Minimize what you eat you probably would be okay. Yeah. That's true too. But I'll kill like eight slices of pizza and shit. I'm someone that uh, I need to be full. I can't just eat. Me yeah, too. Me too. Bro. Like I can't just fill my. I just and like, need to be full. Me too. And like yeah. where I went, like they have <laughs> tacos and stuff, and it's bomb. But I like to get this thing, this, this uh, the thing that's damn fucking Canadian. Drake, <laughs> um, Canadian. 
I've been hearing Drake lately. So uh, I fucking saw a. Uh, yeah, it's called over your things, man. It, it's called La Gringa, right? So yeah. like Excuse the place. Me? So it's a fucking plate, and they it's called La Gringa, and it's just Excuse fucking. Uh, it's just a plate. Six good, man. So it's they give you the meat, and then they just give you some fucking tortillas, and you just go in and just eat it like that. And it has cheese on it, pineapple, mm. al pastor. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck he did. It. What were you expecting then? So I you know. weren't expecting cacasos? Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess, but I was but, like, okay. So they just come with the meat and they just fucking just dump it on your plate or something. No, shit, they or give what? it to you on a plate. Because usually you get your they tacos on They feed you like plate. pigs low key. Well, no, no. You're at a restaurant. Like, they it's just fucking handed to you. So. Yeah, yeah. Because you're at a they table. They don't need it in a trough. So they chop, they it, chop it up. They leave it to throw, you. And throw on the plate for you. Yeah, for you to just eat it with tortillas. And it, it's really good, bro. Like, I, I you ever really seen like how they feed pigs? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just fucking throw it. <laughs> just throw the chuck and, and, and just eat so, it. So it was really good. But I had my fucking t- uh, my fucking toe done, yeah. and I was like fucking this already hurting from that. It was the second time I went to Mexico. What? Okay, so what time are you talking about? The second time. This the not this other time. The second yeah, the time. The second time you want to go. This, get the toe second time I went for my toe. This just is get the it fixed. Third time. This, this, so, this last time was the third time, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Stop, I went the second going, time, bro. Tired so look, shit. I fucking went and I had it already in pain because it was the second time. So they cauterized it, so it was already fucking painful. Mm-hmm. I feel that shit in my stomach. I'm like, fuck, bro. And we're thirty minutes away, bro. We, like and there's traffic and yeah. everything you're like fuck on our way over there my aunt decides it's a smart idea to be in like this last lane yeah and even though it's a little traffic she's kind of revving a little and she's a safe driver mm-hmm. she fucking hits a cat bro my, oh. my, and, and my aunt's like like oh no 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 like please don't please don't in spanish and won't well, that fucking cat jumped <laughs> into the <laughs> wheel and, and we're, we're driving usually like, bump <laughs> bump, <laughs> bump. Yeah. And we're like, fuck. And my cousin's like, I killed him. And I'm like, you murder. The whole way home, I was yeah. like, assassina. I was shit, just fucking <laughs> telling her. Did you shit yourself when you guys hit the cat? Bro, I, bro, I, it bumped and I was like, bitch. <laughs> fucking bitch ass speed bump. Uh, bro, I was fucking Did annoyed. you mention it though? Like, like on, the, on the car ride? Like, hey. No, because you don't want to make somebody uh, uncomfortable. You know? Uh, fuck that. I, fuck nah. you. That My favorite thing Get to do to when, when I need to use the restroom yeah. is like, hey, wey, se me está asomando el topo, wey. So you <laughs> need to... Yeah, you need to hey, get the, me the fuck out of here, bro. The English speakers, Lalo. Hey, the turtle. No, no, I'm sorry, not the, the gopher? turtle. The gopher is looking out the hole. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you go. imagine it. Yeah, yeah, you imagine it. That's like you know. I was fucking struggling, but I was like, I already, she already dealt with my bullshit last time. I'm not gonna fucking tell her. Okay. So I was just in the back, like <laughs> this was always shitting stuff out. That's what you're what she's thinking. Uh, yeah, and it's annoying as fuck. And I, I love you guys, but oh my god, bro, my uncle, he doesn't drive because he's like really blind in one eye. Uh-huh. So like like or he like he really can't see a lot. He's a pirate. Like good. Your family's in shambles, bro. So Fuck. he's <laughs> guiding for her. He's like, oh, the exit was over there. Why are you having the blind guy <laughs> fucking drive, bro? Like for missing his exit. Like yeah, he's like, oh, it's over. He, he likes to give directions right as it's coming up. Don't yeah. fucking do that bullshit. Slow, bro, the bus is here. So, like literally, he's like, he's like, oh, it's alright right here, bro. Uh, we're in the other lane, <laughs> dog. Like, <laughs> that did that one. That one. And he was doing that shit the whole way, and I was like. And every time we'd go somewhere, I was like, please don't fucking invite him. Please don't invite him. Yeah. And he was off for work that week, whole week. So he was just going with us everywhere. Coincidentally. Mapping. Why is he giving fucking maps, bro? He can't see. That's why he doesn't drive. Yeah. You can't fucking give directions either, homie. You don't yeah. think? I was like, okay, look. Fuck, bro. But that's my thing, bro, is that what you guys didn't say is that after you guys hit that cat, yeah. That cat went home and he scored a half. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Look, you sir. The fuck, man. Okay, but tough. look, everybody cover With three legs. Everybody cover one of their eyes. The good one or the bad? Would, <laughs> okay, you, would you miss your exit? Look no. at it. Look at one no, eye. no, miss, you no. wouldn't miss your exit, right? Wait. I'd, I'd miss you, Elliot. Got it. That's tight. <laughs> Bars. This with the fifty thing. Yeah. That's not Missy, bro. Yeah, it is. But like, he's it's not nah, driving I, though. I wouldn't miss my exit. You just want he got to a big dick he's not driving working. though. He's giving maps. Oh no, it's Missy Elliott. It is yeah. even worse. My like, aunt is you can't, you can't look at the fucking. Who gives it? So then you shit yourself. I almost did. I you fucking did. ran in that mm. bitch. That's fucking nice. And there's two restrooms. Thank God. So mm. there's two open just in case. Like in this case, one is closed. And you and fucking I, blew. And there's one that I always go somewhere. upstairs so nobody can hear me because everybody's downstairs. I want to fucking downstairs. So fuck this shit. I don't give a fuck. You blew ass like crazy. I did because it was fucking bad, bro. So it was fucking horrible, man. And it, it, it was just horrible experience. Saying, but so you got to give your body a chance. I, I did not eat al pastor after that shit, but fuck. Well, man. then you ate it the next week. I, I <laughs> fucking did, but, you know. Well, I mean, you could say, I could say that you were pretty lucky, and so was this guy that sent us in his story. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. So we got a story, and I don't know if they want us to say their name, because they never nah, tell us. Yeah, they never tell us. So 
This one starts with, I was listening to episode 173 with my fam, Catch and up. while y'all were talking about blowing ass, <laughs> <laughs> I remember the story from when I was in college, and I wanted to share it with y'all. Thank you. Thank you. I made the fucking mistake of eating fucking two-day-old Juan Pollo with some beans for breakfast. <laughs> oh, oh, bro. Before I went the into skin, my... The skin, though, the skin is yeah. fire. Before I went into my 10 a.m. class, can you imagine just eating some Juan Pollo? Hey, you know what's crazy? I'm nasty like that. I'll eat some fucking Juan Pollo and shit, like some dinner shit for breakfast, yeah, me right? Me too. What the fuck? So anyway, I ate ass. I don't got standard, right? Whatever. <laughs> this was a ten to five. This class was ten to five. God damn, bro. With the lunch break in the middle, and that shit was mad brewing in my stomach for the oh, first half. Tumbling and tumbling. By the time lunch came around, I had to speed walk my ass to McDonald's, a mm. couple blocks <laughs> down, which was hella packed, oh. since it was peak lunch time at the high school near it too. Yeah, that sucks, bro. Because yeah, yeah, you think yeah. about it, like you're walking to a couple blocks is a lot. Yeah. Especially if that's just coming out already. So Fuck he says, yeah. I start panicking and plan ahead if there's no stall and think to myself, I'm just gonna have to squat one out behind a bush. Mm. Look laughing emoji. Luckily, the big stall was open, and by the grace of God, I barely make it within seconds and let the oh. river flow from my chocolate starfish. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny as fuck. Oh, shit. So not a minute later, I hear a motherfucker hurriedly walk in and start rattling my stall door in a panic. And I hear him say in frustration, God damn it! Yeah. I guess homie's intrusive thoughts won because next thing I know, I hear this dude just lay a mean pie in one of the urinals and hear a sigh of relief. In the urinal? Come on, I know. So after he leaves, I quickly wipe just to get the fuck out of there and peek at his pie. After walking back to class, I realized that food didn't even wipe. And I just wanted to share this story with y'all. I love what y'all do and can't wait for what the future holds for you hey, guys. Keep doing what you. you're doing. Hey, appreciate thank you, bro. Hey, by the way, I know a homie who don't wipe. Yeah. Mm. You know Shout who you are. Shout out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, that's I'm, what they meant by the. <laughs> hey, that was the. Just say that. Bitch, just bleep it. Okay. Shout out. Oh, that can't say my joke. I didn't say that was the. That they were. <laughs> hey, hey, honestly, that's like, uh, that that's happens though all the time where yeah. shitting in a you're urinal? shitting yourself and then the fucking stalls are full and you're like, bruh, I'm about to fucking blow ass into the sink, bro. No cap. I blew ass into I wouldn't, the sink. I've never blown I've ass never into the sink. I was that's, a kid though. Oh, no. I, I could hold it, bro. I'm pretty good at holding it. I'm dying, but I could fucking hold it. I was a kid. I at, pushed at my Walmart. body to the limits. I was a kid at Walmart and like my mom had like when she was shopping. And you know moms, they fucking look at every fucking thing, yeah. right? And then we're like, wow, Walmart, we're going to be here next week. <laughs> you know? So I was pissed. And I was like, I need to take a shit. Mm. Finally, feel like I couldn't fucking hold it anymore. I run into the fucking... First, I, I didn't even know where the fucking restroom... You know when you're taking a shit and you just can't think of anything? Yeah. Like, you can't, like... You, you need to take a shit and you're like, fuck, man. Where is the fucking nearest bathroom? Yeah. Even though I've been to Walmart, like, millions of times. Millions? Millions. Matter of fact, trillions. Let <laughs> me fucking double down on that shit. Porn. So I couldn't fucking find, like, I couldn't find the restroom. And, and so finally I saw somebody with a fucking blue shirt and the happy face, because back in the day it was a happy face mm -hmm. logo. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, I was yeah. like, excuse me, sir, like, can you can you tell me where the restrooms are? And he fucking points. <laughs> Hello, governor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello, Mike. Well, yes. <laughs> right? So Tuesday. He, <laughs> it's Tuesday, isn't it? <laughs> we won, by the way. It's called soccer. And <laughs> it was tied, bro. Nah, was we rough. won. If we tied, we won. Lucky though, we, what happened on this last game? Oh, we scored 12 0. <laughs> Fuck. So it didn't matter. USA 2? Yeah. First time in history, Mexico yeah. and USA scored 12. It's That's 24 0. Cool. <laughs> and so, anyway, I go and I tell this to I'm like, hey, like, I need to use the restroom. He's like, where is it at? And he's like, it's over there, like back where people do, what was that shit called? People used to push it on layaway. Remember that shit? Oh, yeah, yeah. Rollover? Yeah, whatever. Roll layaway. 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 I don't know. It was you, weren't, you were never it poor. It was the poor man's. Yeah, you plan. were never poor because so you. so I went to the restroom. You're poor for like a week, bro. And both of the stalls, there's nobody in them, but they're both locked. So I was like, oh, "Fuck, oh, man!" Mm. Like, I, so I hopped on the sink and whoo, blew fucking oh, ass, bro, no, all on the fucking sink, bro. I had to. I prefer you doing shit on do the it. floor, bro. In nah, the sink. bro. I had to do it in the sink, and then it was worse. I didn't think it through. It was like I have to wash my hands. <laughs> <laughs> So I got, so I was like, God, I, well, I don't know how I did it. I don't even remember. I think I got like my a piece of my shirt and I ripped it like right here, the little sleeve, and then like I, I went and used it to grab the to cause I shit everywhere, bro. Nah, so I was on the bro. knob, fool, and I had to turn the knob. 
And then I just left the water on because I didn't want to close that shit again. And then I went back to my mom with the torn shirt. She was like, what happened to your shirt? I was like, nothing. Like, I think I got caught on one of the hangers. But I fucking shit in the sink. <laughs> I, I, it's tough, bro. Like I'm gonna fucking go and like running in there. I remember when I went. Oh, to seven. Fuck- no, but like uh, like the dude in college and shit. Damn. Like the guy that sent in the story. <laughs> like when I went to Black Friday, I, I, that shit kind of opened my eyes with some shit. Cause like I I had to use the restroom, but I'd have to fucking go bad, right? Yeah. But I fucking uh, I went in and some guy came fucking running in and shit with his kid, bro. And his kid was like maybe seven or eight. Like David was like David's age when he went to Walmart. And matter of fact, it was you. And it, it, <laughs> it was fucking tough because like the the guy had to take a shit, like not his kid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it was like a boy and shit. And you could tell this dude's fucking going to town, bro. Like he just fucking going to the restroom bad. And his son's like distracted with his phone. And he's like, Daddy, look. He's like, mm-hmm. <laughs> and he's just fucking like hyping his kid up with the f- fucking video game. Uh-huh. I'm gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> like, and this dude's just fucking destroying the toilet, bro. Yeah, can, son, can you shut the fuck up, Tyler? You know, yeah. like, he's just fucking yeah. going in, bro. You know, you know, you know what? When shit. someone tries to talk to you while you take a shit, it's the yeah. most infuriating shit ever. No, and I, well, I, yeah, I was just gonna say, it's like those shits, like, where you have to put your phone down and shit and focus, just try not to die. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. just gotta pray. You know, <laughs> <laughs> hey, God is me. You know the shit. <laughs> you know the shits where you gotta get naked? That's what I'm gonna tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The shits where you just I've start those, bro. I've had those, bro. I've had those. It just, it just, bro. And yeah, bro, you're in fucking. Oh, I've had. I've, I promise I'll never yeah. eat this again, and then you go back and eat it again. You're praying to God <laughs> tomorrow. The I'm a born sinner. <laughs> After what's there to eat? Well, because nah, my stomach's once. empty. Foo, fuck. Those, me those, those me sheets are pizza, painful. We have to have pizza, bro. But look at. Mm. I don't learn my lessons, bro. So <laughs> it's tough, man. So I feel like it's tough being like a single dad, bro. Because it's just like I, 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 I never thought about that. Shit. I knew it was tough, but I was like, like even a single parent, like anybody, like. This guy had to fucking go bad. What do you do? You can't leave his kid outside. He's going to get kidnapped. So don't get happen to him. Right. He literally had to keep his kid distracted on his phone, bro. And fucking how to use the restroom bed. I was like, that's, that's, what that's I've heard, fucking like, tough, you, man. Also, like, even at home, I've heard, like, these motherfuckers don't give you no privacy, especially when they're younger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dad! Mom! Dad! Mom! And you're just blowing ass. Hey, single dad. <laughs> I was never having kids, bro. Yeah. I thought my nephew was in here, bro. <laughs> but you're already a dad. Deal, 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 deal. It's like you were their dad, bro. Honestly, it's annoying, his dude. Was <laughs> same day at Target. <laughs> no, that's yeah. that same day at Target, guys. This fucking kid he, telling he his mom that shit to too. Go. Nah, but sing- single dads don't get enough credit, bro. Nah, bro, they facts, don't. Facts, facts. What do you mean? They just don't get enough credit. Great, I didn't. I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> my fault. My fault. My fault. The fuck I thought you were gonna expand on it. Nah, nah, nah. If you go, no, it's true, bro. I, I feel like they don't, cause like everybody obviously see, understands single moms, and I just feel like now the topic has to kind of go into like. Yeah, because there's a lot of single dads center. now, and then it's not even sometimes like. Fuck, man. <laughs> sometimes it's not even like the wife dies, you know. Like sometimes the the, the, the wife is like just a piece of shit, you know. Yeah, she you know, and help. so like you know yeah. the, these guys end up raising fucking kids by themselves, and it's like. They, we don't have that motherly instinct to just yeah. do that shit, you know? Like, the way, at least the right way, you know? For real, bro. That's just hard. Like, they're, they're, like when I was younger, my parents, like, separated for, like, a while. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was like, I look at my dad, I was like, this food doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> we were eating the same shit every day. Yeah. Food. Yeah. I was like, I'm in my mom. <laughs> we <Wheaties> again? <laughs> Ch- chorizo pizza again? No, it's funny because, like, when they first separated, we had a conversation. And it's like... It, well, uh, let me get to it, bitch. <laughs> 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 no, so when they first separated. Family separating um, is hilarious, dude. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> it's the best. Hey, Loki, okay, Beto was right for you, fuckers. Don't get it from me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, tell me about it. Yeah. Wait, but then Lydia, the Lydia came home and she scored a hat trick. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah. No, so they were getting sent. <laughs> is that what we do with childhood trauma? <laughs> It's got a hat trick. Ah, hey, co- hey, Cocha scored a hat trick. Just hot. Cocha, shout out to Noé. Yeah, <laughs> for the one Never time. Never scored a hat trick. No, but um, when they first separated, they, they sat us down and they're like, "Oh, like who do you want to go with?" Right? And I was like, "Neither." I was like, <laughs> "They both gonna make you work." You I was like, "Lalo's house." <laughs> hey, either you wake up early to clean or fucking cut granite. I'll go with your mom. Yeah, for my dumbass was like, "Okay, okay, well." <laughs> well, except for dreams. <laughs> Let's, look, no, dream? why? Why? Why not? <laughs> well, let me get to it. Okay, yeah. So when I was younger, yeah. uh, you, you have know, both parents. You, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny, huh? Yeah, that's hilarious. That's fool, my dad left, fool, and then Dream he stopped. Funny. He, yes. he never hey, came back nah, home. Hey, but he sent a picture and he was on the field because he had scored his fucking hat trick, bro. 
Nah, honestly, let's go stream <laughs> Heaven on Earth. <laughs> <laughs> That's your way of paying me I, back? I just struggle with that. Yeah, uh, yeah. Heaven on Earth. Okay. No, but I remember when we were kids, when you would go to the grocery store yeah, with your parents. mom, uh -huh. I'd be like, my, bro, my mom, before we go into the grocery store, she'd be like, don't ask me for shit. Don't fucking ask me for shit. I ain't going to buy you shit. My mom don't still even, did that. Don't yeah. even fucking look at shit, bro. Or I'm going to beat the fuck out of you. There you go. Beat the fuck out of you. Yeah, yeah. And my mom did the same thing, by the way. And then she'd be like, right. nah, bro. And my dad. Love you. My dad, <laughs> king shit, fool. My dad was a king, bro. He'd be like, we go to the grocery store with him, a super or whatever. Or actually, mm. Fiesta Foods back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, that's what we'd be like, all right. Shout lucky. Dad, can we get some hot Cheetos? Yeah, you can get hot Cheetos. Just don't tell your mom, right? King, king shit? King shit. King yeah. shit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when these fools were, based so when these fools were getting a divorce, I was like, I'm going with the fool gives me hot Cheetos, bro. <laughs> That's facts. That's facts you know. Yeah. yeah. But then I don't blame you. But then fat also, regrets fool. And, and also as a father figure. Facts. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, whatever. Facts. Yeah, yeah. Also, he makes facts. I go. Also, <laughs> can I go with you. If I was going with my dad, I was staying in the house. I'll go with my mom, go with my aunt's house. Fuck that shit. <laughs> and fuck I'll back keep, get a I'll, house too. I'll keep my room. I got Spider Man fucking uh, wallpaper, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes or no? Keep it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nah, but yeah. I have like, porn on your PSP. I'm gonna stay with my pops. <laughs> And that shit backfired food because we were eating fucking huevo every day. Food. That's fire, <laughs> bro. That's fire. Can I didn't even show? know you could make it like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah, single dad's food. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't know. Nah, they don't get enough. Hey, I, I remember yeah. that shit too when well, they I, got back together. Everything's cool now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. tight. Yeah, hey, I, that's I remember cool. that shit too when. <laughs> <laughs> you get food? No, that's tight. We're not. We go. <laughs> That's tight. Johnny the same way too. <laughs> no, I, I remember when my dad would try to cook breakfast. That shit did not work. Like cause my dad used to do his eggs a certain way. You you burn them. It was fucking <laughs> bullshit, bro. It's I was like, it's like quiet taste. Oh uh, yeah, I was like, okay, like is is this the way you fucking make <laughs> eggs or what the fuck, bro? Like my my mom's eggs are like always good. Look the fuck. He just burned the fuck out of them. <laughs> my, my dad does not know how to cook, bro. Mm -hmm. Y'all yeah, motherfuckers know how to cook, mm -hmm. by the way. You yes, sir. Uh, you're, you're a good cook. I whip it. Oh whip yeah, it. yeah, my boy be making his meal preps. Yeah. Whip it, whip it. Yeah, yeah. Kind of. Yeah. I went the I'll beat your ass, bitch. No, not you. Oh, me. I thought, okay, kinda. Got you. I yeah, could yeah, kind of yeah. cook, but it's like I need help when I need to cut something when it's really sharp. I got you, puppy. When the knife's really sharp. <laughs> yeah. You know what I forgot to say though? Um, <laughs> actually, when my my mom and my when my mom and my dad got back together for that's tight. My dad scored a hat trick. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was crazy. Hey, for that's the new this one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's nuts, bro. Yeah. That's not because my story was real. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna get watered down to fake. Yeah, yeah. it's bullshit. <laughs> we, no. The OG story is gonna get watered down. No, I you had it. your episode. <laughs> All right, I'm out. That's true. You, did. Yeah. you even had a clip. Yeah, you had a clip. This ain't gonna be a clip. That. That's just tight. That's this true. is gonna be an insider. By the way, the Feliz Navi, that clip, that shit was funny. That shit needs more love. Fuck yeah. you guys. Yeah. Feliz Navi, that. I really be out here, bro. Ding, 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 ding. That shit was jokes, bro. Thanks, bro. Yeah. <laughs> that make me look good. What do you think would be the hardest thing about being a single dad? <laughs> Fuck that. Yes. Nothing. Don't let me think. I'll be that. fucking mad, bitches. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is your no mom? Because you're gonna use you're gonna, you're gonna use your kid now. like yeah, you know I'm a responsible dad. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, in front of your kid. Next thing you know, you're just fucking hitting that bitch. Dad, bitch. that's not mom. Mind your business, bitch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this dick is responsible. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> this is your new mom. Uh, what I think is be the toughest. Yeah. Mm, yeah, I probably. Uh, if I'm out here being a dog, which that's not who I really am, uh, you know, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. So if I had been a dog, I wouldn't care. But if I, if, like, how I actually am, like, yeah. like trying to settle down, it'd be tough because yeah. you might think this girl's the one, but also you got to consider that you're going to have to present her. You know, I'm not going to hide the kid forever, you know, like, or at all. But, you know, it's like, you, you tell her, get on the house. <laughs> get into the house right now. Get on the stage. coming get, over. Get on the stage. <laughs> You be fine. Yeah, cause you have bitches coming through. <laughs> no, no, but uh, <laughs> that's fun, bro. Yeah, yeah, no, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she's gonna know about him. Yeah, but she won't meet him, cause then you, you that that has to be like, I know for sure that yeah. you know, cause if, she, if he's meeting bitches every fucking two months, it's kind of tough. Yeah, yeah, uh, little yeah, guy, yeah, you know, it's tough. So yeah, that probably be the toughest shit. It's just being a parent in general is tough, but when you ain't got no partner, no support system, that's just tough as fuck. Especially like they also all have to think about parents that like don't have have like any family that help them out. Like, bro, it's tough. Like, when you go to work, what do you do? Like, yeah. what, if, what if this is so much so <coughs> tough to trust a babysitter nowadays or a babysitter place? Like, mm. like I don't know. You guys saw a good while back a few people that were like a daycare center. No, they they, like, they got in trouble for scaring kids with masks, and <coughs> they like traumatize the fuck out of them, and mm. it's fucked up. Like, like shit like that happens, and you don't know who to trust. So <laughs> yeah. It's really That's tough to, to know where, where you can take your kids. Like, yeah. it, it, it sucks, man. Big emphasis on good single Yeah, dads. exactly. 
Yeah, we're yeah, not talking about yeah. single dad in general that do fuck off for their kids. Yeah, yeah. We're not talking yeah. about your fucking Smoke. lazy asses. It's not yeah. your fucking episode. Yeah. Fuck you. Not the fools that just come Raise around and take a picture kids, at things. Uh, they just come around and take a, a the picture. The worst part ever. Father's hey, Day. Hey, on Father's Day. Mad enough to come here, girl, but not mad enough to raise that kid. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, yeah that's definitely well, I hate be those me. fucking deadbeats, bro. I hate mm. those motherfuckers, bro. Yeah, I can't wait to be Raise your fucking son, you losers. I don't know. I gotta do him how they did me. <laughs> and survive or get survived. <laughs> motherfuckers like, I survived. You motherfuckers, survive. motherfuckers be like confidently. Look how I yeah. turned out. Motherfucker, you yeah. work at a warehouse, dog. Like you what hey, the fuck? It's get, or get it's, not, it's, not a, it's not a knock on warehouse workers, but it's like you you like you don't want better for him. Like yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, yeah. teach him to be better. Nah, fuck him, bro. You, <laughs> you either get or get got, bro. <laughs> in this <laughs> world. That yeah. little shit's gonna get wrecked. <laughs> Jeep's gonna be like the best dad. Yeah, probably. Yeah, he had a great influence too. So, nah, because I don't know how to be a dad. That's the problem. Nah, you're gonna that's a, it, that's gonna be hard. I think that's gonna be tough for me. You're, like, a, great father, you're a great father to your, to your to your younger brother, though, bro. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you he was are. in jail. Yeah, yeah, I didn't say you were the best. You crushed it. Yeah. I didn't say you were the best. But I said <laughs> you're great. You did well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he did okay. You, you did your. How best. many years did he got though? Yeah, he, so just that's seven. True. It wasn't life. <laughs> it wasn't life. It wasn't life. Yeah, yeah I'm seven years Could better than worse. the rest of these motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but I don't want to get stabbed. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. By his cousins in the cartel. <laughs> <laughs> Low key facts, though. Shout out, shout out my cousin. You didn't even know that for bro. Low key, but yeah, you do. do. Yeah, I do. All right, guys. So if you guys know already, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we do the Tuesday and Thursday story. That's where facts. we go and ask the fans. Mm-hmm. For you guys to interact with us and go yes. ahead and ask us any questions, any hot takes, Hell or if you yeah. need any advice, yep. this first question comes from an anonymous viewer who mm. says, hey, my name is <laughs> She says, my question is, when do you guys think it's the right time to start dating after a breakup? Mm. Long story short, I was in a three-year relationship. God dang. Mm. Damn. That's a long time. And long. it's been five months since I broke up with him. Cheating. Oof. Oof. I started going out on dates, but somehow I always get bored and ghost every guy. Yeah. Love you guys, by the way. Heart sign. Uh, cute. Love you too. Yeah. I, I don't think you should just <laughs> smash. I don't think uh, that's going to help you get over. Oh, what the fuck? I don't know. I don't know. How do soon is think? it to start dating after a breakup? If after you're d- a for cheater? three years, you know. As a cheater? Fuck. So cheater? she's recently at the breakup, right? Yeah. Damn. Right. You got to go and get double penetrated by, by some point. It's funny, though, because. You'll know <laughs> when you feel that little hoe in you trying to come out. Yeah, facts. do it. That's yeah. facts. That's facts. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Suck it. I feel like Suck it a little bit. I I I'll, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll kind of give like my own little take on this. I I personally just feel like you just kind of just make yourself happy, bro. Like like That's shit right, like bro. that happens. Like I I really feel like you should just fucking try to focus on your own. When, when you feel like you're in a relationship for so long, you m- maybe couldn't do things that you could do on your own. Meet. Enjoy your, your your life as long, as simple as like just watching <coughs> the show, bro. Like watching a show, catching up on some mm. things, Take relaxing. Your ass, you can't like, get pregnant. Y- y- <laughs> you don't have to like worry about texting back. Facts. You literally just fucking <coughs> chill. That shit is underrated, huh? It's beautiful. That's just okay, relaxing. Nah, you can man. see for six hours. You ain't got to worry about texting nobody. Don't no get me wrong. There's a lot of dope shit about being in a it relationship. Is, is, a lot. Yeah. But being single is the best. <laughs> being single is way better. Bees knees. Bees knees? I so, love you, baby. It's so much better. <laughs> yeah. Nah, but that, that, the fact that you don't have to fucking answer to anybody, you don't have to text exactly. nobody, you just big chilling. You don't got that no is dope. Just enjoy just that shit. Out. Unless you live with your parents. Then you're just just right find there. ways to make yourself yeah, happy. I, I think good. once you find yourself like find ways to make yourself happy again you'll and your own yourself. you don't have to depend you'll on somebody you just go and find somebody <laughs> yeah but I, I, I think I think that's pretty cool uh, I don't know I guess three years is a long time you know yeah it is and you're not gonna be ready in, probably in five months what a waste of fucking time huh? to start dating somebody Facts. just to go down by cheating just don't rush it but it's even fine, still, though. like, happens everybody. You're, oh, yeah, you're, hold the positive shit. Even, even still, then, like, your feelings bullshit. are invested, you know? Like, mm-hmm. three years, you know, you probably anticipate, mm-hmm. like, getting married to that person, honestly, at three years. Yeah. Depends how you old know? you are, though. Yeah. yeah. Nah, you're I think, future, at, three, though. I think 18, at three years. If you're 18, I, if you're 18 and you broke up at 21. But you still see a future. But also think, about how, like, also think about how stupid you were even at 21. That's what I'm yeah. saying. You probably thought about getting married anyway. Like, you shouldn't be thinking about marriage until, like, after 25, I think. Mm. I mean, there's no number. I think. I think it's just if you're with someone long enough, you're like, I could see myself doing this shit forever, you know? Yeah. And so, but you, you really want to think about like you know? your life with this person, you know? Like, can yeah. you go 
to the park and score a hat trick with his first. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's facts. That's facts. Because if they if they don't have a good le- if they don't have a good right foot, you know, if they don't have a good touch, a first yeah. touch. Facts. Yeah. That's important. You're bro. gonna see yourself in a lot. Soccer so much better when you have a first touch, bro. You're gonna see yourself in a lot of Saudi Arabia <laughs> situations because we just fucking wrecked them twelve to zero. <laughs> yeah. That's I think you're saving right? a lot of money I, by being single too. Honestly, when's so the question was, <laughs> the question, Yo, dog you shit, went bro. to some fucking shit, bro. <laughs> hey, shout out, hey, hey shout, hey, shout out, out, out to the tater tots, bro. Shout out to all the tater tots, bro. <laughs> what do you yeah. say? I said you're saving yourself a lot of money mm. by being single, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Like you, you ain't gotta pay for that man anymore. You, you're go chilling. and track, go and tag Drew Alpha Fungus down below, <laughs> so he she can fucking arrest this bozo, <laughs> put him in fucking cancel prison. Yeah, <laughs> but. You know, it's tough. Like, I think five months probably isn't enough to get into another relationship. Yeah, you're ready. But I Honestly, think it's like enough right. to start seeing people, I think. Once your pussy starts throbbing, it's time to move on. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. Let's be honest. Yeah. Once your pussy's like, I need I dick, a clip. You, start, you start going to the club, <laughs> dancing with motherfuckers, meeting new people. Let's be honest, bro. If your pussy don't have a, a, a little heartbeat for the guy you're with, it's not the one, bro. Facts. That's what I'm saying, though. Like, you're not going to have interest in a guy until your pussy starts going, dick, or... Pussy. You know, like one Whatever of the other, you know? Like, Chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> There's something what? Chocolate. chocolate. What did he say? <laughs> he says they're selling chocolate. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, <go> chocolate. <laughs> yeah. But that's what you know when it's time to move on. Oh, yeah. chocolate. But not, hey, girl, you got to get the other food out your head, too. So Facts, go out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, go yeah. Go out For, there and yeah, fucking yeah, have yeah. some fun. Uh, I don't mean, go, okay, we fuck around and we're like, all this sexual shit. Uh-huh. But the reality is like, you're going to be ready when you're ready. Get some cheeks. But uh-huh. definitely go out there and fucking flirt with some motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah. go flirt. Go, go, hey, go, go, go some food. Go see, go see like, you know, what you can actually pull too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because like, yeah. a lot of girls will like, well, downplay, confidence. A lot of girls downplay themselves, but bro, go out there and chop it up with a couple of dudes. You'll see motherfuckers be interested oh, right yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. And you don't hey, got to hey, fuck oh, And you, you don't, don't got to fuck You just got to boost, you, you boost your own ego. Yeah, yeah. And then you let the, and then and they were chopping it up with an attractive girl. Yeah. And then like, Cool. Like it was suck. It didn't go where like, you know, maybe he thought it was going or something, whatever. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. you both, you know, you still feel good. When you talk when you talk good to a girl and it's like even yeah. if she was cute and then like, she wasn't fucking with it, you still as a guy, yeah, I at least I used to yeah. like yeah, so yeah. I chop yeah, it up. It's and, a play. And, and, look, so the here. thing is though that she did say she like I'm going out on dates, but somehow I always get bored yeah, that, and ghost the, every guy. I was gonna I was gonna touch on that. Like I was like, I was gonna say you Girl, you're already going out on dates. You feel me? Yeah. So yeah. clearly you you're more than capable to go out on dates, right? Like so you don't have to fucking uh, get in a relationship right away. Yeah. But, have you tried sleeping with them? But if somebody, <laughs> but if somebody catches your attention and then like you feel the vibes, you know, yeah, don't be yeah, scared, yeah. bro. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you're not leaving someone that you guys left mutually and it's kind of like you don't want to hurt their feelings type of shit. This motherfucker not care about your feeling when he was cheating on you. And yeah. so why the fuck would you even around, care? So, hey, yeah, you're gonna have those feelings sorry, of like. But that still seems like you're hold, held up on the other relationship though, on the past one. Yeah. If you feel like the need to be like, like you fucking cheated. If you have that thought even in your head yeah, still at any point, no. yeah. it means whenever you do the action of something else, you're still thinking about that. Yeah. Yeah, so cool. like that means you're not healed yet, you know? Yeah, and make sure, too, but, that if you do get in a relationship, I, I, all, all we're saying is go out there and have some fun and see what happens, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But if you do get in a relationship, don't project your insecurities with the next person. Yeah, Because that's, exactly. that's not fair to them because they, they didn't cheat on you. That person did not cheat on you. You know, yeah, and fuck it, so, you, if you so. want to fuck around, dude, then just get your bread up. Either get your head up or get your bread up. Fuck it. That's facts. <laughs> I don't know Johnny's either of those. Big facts. Yeah. Tater tot. Yeah. Tater, tater, tater tot. Tater Johnny. tots in the, vi- in the building. Just fucking go out there, have some motherfucking fun. Yeah. You'll mm-hmm. forget that fool mm-hmm. at some point. Obviously, uh, like honestly, you don't ever fully forget your exes and shit, your relationships. Mm. You just take those experiences and you learn exactly. from them. Exactly. Take the positive. And um. Yeah, you'll fall out of love with that motherfucker. That's mm-hmm. that's the that's the truth. Because at first you so. feel like, oh, this is the one. But then once you, like Lalo said, you go out and you you get that attention that you boost your ego. You're like, oh shoot, you yeah. know what? I can still get it. Like I'm I'm good. Mm-hmm. I'm and like Dream pretty. says, we're all the same. Ah, uh, facts. <laughs> facts, facts, facts. I'm glad facts. somebody's starting to come along, bro. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean that would be my my advice too. Yeah, that's good. This young lady. All right, so this is gonna be the last question that we do, and I think it's a pretty complicated one, but mm-hmm. probably the best one. And it says. How do I tell my man I don't love him anymore? P.S. I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> and don't drop my name. <laughs> okay, so shout out to... <laughs> yeah. Damn. But how do we know that you bring brother you love us? If you yeah. Just... All right. yeah, well, that's true. Are you, just, are you saying that? Or? Well, how do you do that? Like, I don't know. You ever, like, dated someone and you're like, 
I just don't like you. Like, it has nothing to do. You didn't do anything wrong. Like, it's genuinely not you. Like, it's genuinely not me, you. It's me, like, type of mm. thing, you know? Like, I just don't like you. I don't love you anymore. Mm -hmm. I know? <sighs> okay. I've never had... Well, want me to go first? Yeah, go ahead. I've yeah, never yeah, had that experience of, like, in a relationship where I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm... I'm you thought I was feeling you still? You know, like, I, I never had that. Yeah, you a munch. Yeah, you a munch, you know? Like, I never had that feeling in a relationship. But afterwards, and, you know, when when things don't work out, and then you start to talk to them again, you're just like, wow, I'm, I'm not interested anymore. I've had that. Yeah. And then, like, to me, that was at the, at the same I've time. had that pussy. No, no. <laughs> I need some more. <laughs> no, like, I, I had that, and I feel like, I was like, wow, I used to be, like, so, like, infatuated with you, you know? Like, just, yeah. like, being around you, like. And this is not this is not it no more, fam. Yeah, sorry yeah. about it. Yeah. And like that, and and I was still never able to express that, but you just little by little, you just stop like communicating. It's kind of like you know, because you do that thing after the breakup where you're trying to figure out what the fuck's going on, yeah. and that's what I'm referring to. Like we were doing that, I just a little by little, I was like, I don't tell you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> like yeah. you're cool, but uh, it's yeah. okay, you know. And I had that, but if I were to give uh, some advice to whoever fucking asked the question, I would just do it right away, like. It's unfair to that person. It's yeah. unfair to yourself, not only that, but to that other person that probably still in love with you. Like, just kind of, you know, mm -hmm. sooner rather than later type of. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's fucked up. Like, yeah, I don't love you anymore, but I'm going to stick around because I don't know how to tell you. Yeah, that'd be tough. Like, it's just, you choose, when you try to, like, usually when people break up, you figure something's wrong. You know? Mm -hmm. Like, you figure, like, oh, like, we got in arguments, mm -hmm. you know, or someone was toxic. Yeah. Or we just didn't have the same beliefs. Mm -hmm. You know, but when there's, I think it's tough when there's like nothing wrong and you're just not feeling it. Mm -hmm. Like, you're just like, I don't want this as yeah. a relationship. Like, I can only imagine, like, I don't know how long that person was in a relationship, but how much it sucks that you know that you're going to hurt their feelings and uh, and they're going to feel like shit because of it, you know? Yeah. Maybe you, maybe you're just going through personal shit yourself. Yeah. Maybe like in the, ho in, in like your family or something or like just yourself, you don't know what the fuck you're doing with your life and you, you may feel like you're projecting onto your partner shit, yeah. and you don't want to do that. You know, it's like you don't you don't know what what it is. You know, like type of like you don't know if you're falling out of love with them, or if it's just like, or if it's just like a bunch of stress coming up that you think that you don't have enough time for this person now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of shit can happen, but the best thing to do is just uh, leave the situation as hard as it's gonna be for both of you. Like it's in my opinion, it's the best thing to do because again, it's unfair to you, it's unfair to that person, and okay. I, with that, it's everyone's just. Goes clean slate rather than try to actually fuck it up because you don't know how to do it the adult way and talk about shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like because people would just be like, "Oh, I don't know how to do it this way, so I'm just gonna cheat." Yeah, because yeah. then like he has to leave me. Then like yeah. I cheated. Oh, there's people that sabotage like their own shit. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah, Is that yeah, what you're yeah. saying? Yeah, that's what I'm referring to. Like when yeah. instead of doing instead of going through the process of doing that shit, just fucking uh, up front, like, "Hey, bro, you thought I was feeling you? <laughs> <laughs> you want munch? Yeah." <laughs> Imagine, that's yeah. how you should break up with him. Yeah. Honestly, you a munch. Yeah. <laughs> and then she breaks up with him and she goes to score the hydro. <laughs> yes. Johnny, how would you do it? How, like if you just like I think she like, should just stop fucking wasting his time and her time. Like, yeah. like, 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 yeah. Alright, right. well this was from your girl. Imagine <laughs> Nah, I'm just playing with you. No, but I have, so, <laughs> come in. You know what? So, 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 stay with them. So, so, stay with them. Stay with them. <laughs> stay oh, with them. <laughs> I, I think you should fight through it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's a sweetheart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so she, she said you never she's falling talk. out of love with him. So that means she still maybe loves him still. So I would say, um, Fix try it. to find something that sparks it. Try to go somewhere that you guys first started dating, like spots, like knots, a restaurant, wherever the hell you guys started going. Like yeah. Maybe try to find that spark and try to see if that happens, and maybe you'll find the man that you fell in love with <laughs> and stuff. Because you should be falling out of love, so you're in love with him. You know? Yeah, yeah. I would yeah. say that. If not, mm -hmm. just fucking rip off the bandit, dude. Let him know because yeah. you're wasting his time mm -hmm. and. You're wasting his time from finding the love of his life, which obviously Paul is. Ah, I wonder if he already kind of has like an inkling of, yeah. of feeling that. He probably or, does. If he really likes like denial. He, but he does. He can yeah. feel it. But yeah. I say try to find that. Imagine spot. I feel like he want to go buy a ring. Like, <laughs> like, like, like I, I say you try to do that shit. I, I say you try to do that shit. And you try to find Damn. like, <laughs> like, uh, like once in a week. Mm. Like try, try to save a day for you guys, and you dedicate that time. And I heard like communicating. I heard dating sucks, right now. Yeah. Like, just, I mean, just. Probably, dating in general, yeah. I heard it sucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, for sure. I've never, I've never had the pleasure of that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I miss it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'm just. Like, uh, I never had that problem, but it seems like oh, from what I hear from people, it doesn't matter if you're like attractive or anything. Mm -hmm. It's just right now, it sucks to date. Like, yeah. Uh, society. Did you want to add something? Uh, like I mean, uh, to to Dream's point, I don't think so much that. Honestly, if you were single right now, you wouldn't struggle to date. Mm-hmm. 
because of who you are as a person. Handsome. Devil. I would just be by myself, honestly. Okay, uh, but if you were if you were pursuing a a relationship, oh. you wouldn't struggle. It's just. It's just characteristics. I would call nine one one bitches, bro. <laughs> 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 nah, but it's like nah, you, you, you're you're sociable. Single, you're a fucking cool dude. You'd be out there, bro. You'd, Thank you. You get yeah. another bitch. <laughs> Let's be honest. Mm, you maybe. know what I'm saying? Or you get another girl. Yeah. But um, so that, girl I, I feel like there's a lot of people who struggle with that, just being social and, mm. and they struggle. They got their own problems. There's and a they bunch bring of weirdos out there, mate. Like knowing how to talk. Yeah. Too. You think that's a younger thing? Mm, nah, I, could just, I think it's some people thing. our age too it that could fucking suck at talking, bro. Yeah. yeah, but also, but from being dumbasses or just being socially anxious, just socially, socially stupid. Anxious. Yeah, mm-hmm. you got to remember too, the generation after us were in completely engulfed in the technology era, Social yeah. right? Yeah. So there was a lot less conversations between one another, face to face, like uh, face to face. Yeah, yeah. There was a lot of mm. just social media shit, right? Yeah. So they're they're reaping the be- the effects of that mm-hmm. yeah. so that's why you know i think our generation still to some degree we have um we have that benefit we have that advantage that we can still talk to people and carry a conversation mm. you know yeah hella. and hella yeah yeah <laughs> so i think that's what the this generation this next generation struggling with on god yeah <laughs> Johnny, hey, but y'all just, just, just <laughs> stupid, relatable yeah. to the young, yeah. to the Gen Z. I, I, got, I just yeah. gotta have to. Someone has to. They're like, bro, what is he? Oh god! Oh shit! Oh, oh, god. oh my mama! Yeah. Hey, no cap. Hey, no cap. No cap. Omm. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, my mama. Yeah, cap, cap. Yeah. Hey, low key, that single should be busting. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Yeah. I'm yeah, stack. Yeah. To the homegirl who's yeah. Come on, bitch. You know what you gotta do. <laughs> Let's be, come on, sweetie. What yeah. would you do if you broke up with your girl today? Honestly, bro, I I the strip club. bro, I'm ass at breaking up with you. <laughs> I like if this girl's anything like me, I'm fucking terrible at breaking up with people. Hong Kong. So I do what what Lala was saying, where it's like I do them wrong, mm-hmm. and that's how I get them to fucking either leave me, or uh, uh-huh. I gotta find out if they're doing anything, and then because uh, I'm ass, bro, I'm just like. I can't have that conversation with somebody like, hey, where it's over. I can't, Just bro. any reason. You tell the bitch. person, you said I love you. It's my mom. I don't give a fuck. That's some <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> nah, honestly. I don't, I don't know. I, yeah. I mean, I, and I've had some tough conversations with, with, with my lady where, you know, it's it's been at the brink and shit. Mm-hmm. And luckily, you know, we've come out of, like, we've come out on top fine after that. So to Johnny's point where he was saying, like, if you were trying to spark something up, I think you know, though. Because even when I was like at the verge of calling it, yeah, um, in my own relationship, mm-hmm. I mean, like all the memories and all the shit we've been through, I was like, nah, fuck no, like this is worth fighting for. This yeah. is uh, that's just nostalgia. It's my girl. Nah, not even it's not nostalgia, <laughs> but the fact that like I was never you, you don't fall out of love. Like, yeah. if you're falling out of love, that's a red that's a red flag. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't. You know, mm-hmm. but I thought I wanted other things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and I thought I'd be happier doing other things, or I thought maybe. Uh, I thought other things were more important, you know, like mm-hmm. career wise or shit like that. Where I thought maybe other things, it is, you know, <laughs> no, or, but she, I'm, I'm, or she could have been possibly happier not having to put up. Yeah, with her. or shit, I feel like know. maybe she, uh, that person would be better off without yeah. me. You just don't know, right? But if you heart to heart, you're like, oh, no, my heart's gonna hurt at the end of this. Then nah, this, then you know, you automatically know like this isn't the you're fucking not loving move, them anymore. You know? I mean, that's cool. or you but know, preventing I, yourself from feeling those feelings isn't gonna make you like. Happy either, just because you don't want to feel heartbroken yeah. isn't gonna make mm. you feel happy. Oh no 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 no! But if you know that you're not gonna be okay without the other person, then that's a sign that you. And, and she do said, it. "How do I tell him?" She didn't say what I do. She said, but also don't him. confuse uh, what I'm saying with like just being comfortable with someone, you know? Because some people that's are just true. comfortable, yeah. right? Yeah. And if you're just comfortable and you're just used to this lifestyle and you don't want to change it, that's not love. Okay, let's keep it hundred. Like that's not love. Some people are just comfortable in the situations; they just don't want to leave it. That's true. Well, well how, how would you tell them? How would you tell your girl? I'm the wrong person to ask. Uh, okay. I'm going to keep it up. Like, what about you, Lala? What, what, what would you tell them? In the sense like, of what, bro? Who, like, what would person? you tell your significant other if you're not mm-hmm. in love with them anymore? What would you say? What wording that, would you use? That. It, as hard as it sounds, it's just... That sounds like that, a fucking that, bat to the that, head, That's bro. just the reality, bro. Like, <laughs> uh, No, because you're, you're not... um. Look, I'm trying to score hat tricks. Look, yeah, facts. Me. <laughs> it's just like, yo, I, like, a bunch is like... It pains me to say because obviously, like, you were in love with this person. Like, I'm falling out of love or I'm not in love with you. It just depends which, which one it is. So, I mean, regardless, both you, you, it's like those feelings aren't there for you anymore. So, it's like, 
it, it's mm-hmm. it's it's just straight up, but it's and it's pain. It's gonna be painful to listen to, bro. And you're gonna have to see that person sad because you know that you're gonna make them sad unless they're gonna be like, woohoo, let's go. Yeah, yeah. I was what I wanted. I'm out too. You know, like you know. But for, but most cases, that's not gonna be it. It's or take be a sad break and try to touch because it might because it might um, uh, you know, it, uh, you know, it's gonna yeah. take some time, bro. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, you never know what's gonna happen. People react to everything differently. And I so. think she's ready though. The fact that she even wrote in, like, you're ready to break up. It's been a while. It hasn't been well, yesterday. How, how, so then how would you tell them, Johnny? How would you tell them? The the person? Yes. I honestly would say, let, let's take a break and maybe try to touch back into it. And then and never see, touch see, back? No, I, I honestly feel like if you're falling out of love and you feel like it's still there, then maybe, yeah, to, yeah, yeah, like yeah. maybe it's on telling yourself and you give yourself a chance to miss them. Like what Gazelle said, I feel like what if you're just comfortable with them, but it's also like... You're, comf- you're comfortable to the point where you're just like, this is repetitive, it's annoying. Mm-hmm. And then you're without them and you you see life without them. You're like, is this better or is yeah. this worse? And honestly, don't go into a break for the wrong reasons where you're just going to yeah. fuck a bunch of dudes. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Uh, or sure. he's going to go, you know. Or fuck a bunch of dudes. Whatever works. Nah, because then that's not fair to him <laughs> and shit. not going to help. I would say you, that you would probably tell them, like, you would sit them down, you know, in a public place and then probably just say, like, um, I really appreciate your services, but unfortunately, we're gonna be yeah. going with another. I'm ending my subscription. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel it. Nah, nah. I would just. I think. I think Lalo's approach is probably the best one. Would probably mm. just be like, "Hey, tell him." But also, I want to say, like, you would probably tell them if you want to be nice about it. Like, I would just be like, "I want to thank you for everything you've done and you've taught me." You know, in the time that we've been together, even it was a short time. We've even if that wouldn't teach you shit. You know, yeah. you kind of want to, but you want to get your point across, but without being like heartless mm. as fuck, you yeah. know, unless you're just that type of person. But I would be <sighs> like, I would be like, thank you for everything that you've taught me and all this stuff. But I'm sorry that I wasn't feeling it. Like, I'm sorry that I wasn't feeling it the way that you were. And I feel like I'm wasting your time. You munch. Yeah. I just want to fuck up with myself. And with that being I mean. said, bitch, I'm going to fucking go and score a hat trick. Mm-hmm. Like, that's, 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 that's low key. Oh, poetry. Yeah. That's bars right there. That's a poor poetry of orgasmic. But then he starts crying. Portions, bro. Mm-hmm. And what do you do? Stop crying, little bitch. And, oh no, but like, <laughs> what did no. what did I do wrong? You know, that's what he's and gonna you, hit you yeah, with. Yeah, and then you would say like, you didn't do anything wrong. I'm for like like unfortunately it, yeah. shit like this. You hit the, him with the, the, the cliche. cliche. Yeah, you hit him with the cliche. It's not you. It's, it's, not you, me. it's me. Yeah, and and that's that's bullshit because like that. that shit could be true. You know, like yeah. it honestly could just be you, and it's just like this isn't your fault at all. Like I just not happy in this situation and. I want, and truth is, you don't deserve someone who's not gonna be happy with you. You know, mm-hmm. yeah. Truth Ultimate. is, you're a munch. You gotta make them seem low key, like, and I'm not feeling like it. it's their life would be better without you, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Without, I'm not fit for you without hey. having to do them dirty. You know, and, and like you know what's crazy? A lot of times in these situations, when one person breaks up with the other, the other person ends up thriving. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm about to do, imagine. <laughs> Love you, baby. So lucky, that's why I keep my girl around, food because I don't want that bitch thriving. Yeah. <laughs> hey, lucky, my girl would do good without me. <laughs> Mine too. Lucky, I'm holding her back, yeah. fool. <laughs> that bitch would be crushing yeah. it. Right no, now. she'd be fucking corporate right now. <laughs> if you thrive, we dog. thrive. Fuck that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 and then nah. like, nah, I'm holding you. Down. I'm gonna anchor my. Le- I'm nah, gonna hold bitch. on around your legs I'm and getting you watch pregnant. you sink. I'm gonna watch you sing. Hey, for reals, dude. My girl's getting her master's next year. We're getting our master's. Yeah. <laughs> That's right, John. I didn't yeah, go to school. Bro. You, you go to school. You didn't have one student loan. Yeah. You're still getting Hey, you're gonna start making 75 5K a, a year, or are we gonna yeah. start making 75 yeah. Hey, Biden's for giving the loans our loans. Yeah. <laughs> That's right, Johnny. That's it. I love you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm, I'm walk too when I get the diploma. I wanna just I do a shout out to my girl. Mm. I wanna say I love you. Don't take any of this shit personal. <laughs> but I'm gonna nah, take you. it personal. Yeah, but I'm gonna sink. I'm gonna make you sink so that way I can survive. I can survive, survive, survive. And uh, shout okay. out to my family and friends, yeah. my loved ones, and yeah. the, everybody else that's been listening. Shout out the birthday boy right here. You know, happy like birthday you know, happy birthday to him. And I, you know, I love this one. I appreciate Don't him. Happy birthday comments, please. Yep. And without the, him, without him, this podcast would not be possible. So I want to thank him from the bottom of my heart. I got you, bro. And, uh, Does you? Yeah, and then uh, <laughs> and I'm gonna pass it on to Johnny for his shout outs. Any personal shout outs you may have? I just want to give a shout out to all my friends that be sharing. I appreciate you guys. That's right. I, I see a bunch of people that I I follow back that follow podcasts, and you guys always be fucking sharing. I appreciate you guys. Yeah, yeah. And, shout out uh, you guys. I, I give a shout out to all my friends on the podcast and uh, all my friends in general that be sharing too, and, and my girl. And Hell yeah! And um, shout out to uh, of course like my homies were saying. Shout out to them who will be supporting us heavy. Of course, your guys' names will be shouted out. 
on next week's podcast don't worry if you guys were commenting on youtube and shit and uh hopping us on instagram you're blocked you guys are gonna fucking um for sure get shouted all right so don't worry shout out mm-hmm. to my baby shout out to mm-hmm. my fucking family mm-hmm. of course shout out to fluffy simba and lala you already oh, know shout out to them. and of course shout out to my boy lalo happy birthday my boy I love <laughs> you. i'm gonna you. fucking suck you off so hard That's december tight. 5th uh, <laughs> and you already know yeah. plp gang <laughs> going to the top Wait, well let's get to the middle first yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I appreciate you, brother. To the middle. You a you a good ass homie. I love you, and uh, you know, I hope you score a hat trick after this. Yeah. Yeah, and you couldn't have done it without us. Yeah, <laughs> Loki, yeah, you could have done. Hey, Johnny, go ahead. You didn't thank me. Go ahead. You didn't shout me out. Go ahead. You, you missed my birthday, birthday. bro. You missed my birthday. I shout out to Lalo for his birthday. Oh, stop, stop, <laughs> bro. Oh, no, nah, it's cool. Hey, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Shout That's out cool. to Lalo for his, best, his birthday. He's the best. He's the best. He's the best. He's my yeah. best friend. Uh, oh, nah, stop. Nah, nah, stop. Like a thing, you know? It's too much for him. Nah, bro. It's cool. Don't even say anything. I want to give. I want to give a shout out to everyone who listens. Don't cry. Shout man. out to everybody who fucking wish me happy birthday, bro. Y'all fucking. Bro, I appreciate this, bro. Right. Yeah, like yeah, this yeah. is not November twenty sixth today. Like yeah, we yeah. record this like. The oh, Mexican game yeah. was crazy. December yeah, 3rd. It's December 3rd, bro. Like, you, all the love that I'm about to get into today is crazy. <laughs> I'm going to be at Universal, bitches. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to be chilling. You know, uh, shout out to uh, all the boys uh, that are here working at Double Shift today. <laughs> you know. Now, yeah. shout out you, man. Yeah. Dude. You know what? Shout out you. Thank you, Perrito. I love you. <laughs> I love you. You bought your car, though. Yeah. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, shout out to all the people who fucking listen to us week in and week out. Uh, even through the, all the all the PL people, yeah, yeah, all, all <laughs> the PL people. Uh, shout out to everybody who had us on during the holidays because I saw a bunch of you guys sending us in. Yeah, uh, yeah, you know, yeah, and yeah. you guys had your family listen to it. That's just tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. appreciate it. Shout out to everybody who's gonna buy the merch when it drops. You know, one day you'll probably get like a teaser about it. Or yeah, maybe who knows? Maybe one day. I don't know. But uh, yeah. Uh, thank you to everyone who comments. Thank you for everyone who fucking loves my boys as much as I love them. And uh, yeah, thank you. We love you guys. With that, yeah. Please. Happy birthday.